Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the challenge Chunky Monkey. So let's take a look at the uh, instructions. Write a function that splits an array into groups the length of the second argument and returns them as a two-dimensional array. All right, so basically a two-dimensional array, that's an array inside of an array, okay? And uh, like, like the instruction said, this is going to take two arguments. The first one is the original array, and then the second argument is going to be an integer, and that is the size of, a, of the chunks, um, it, the size of our... Um, basically of our um, inner inner arrays so if we passed in this function we've got um, we've got an array with uh, four characters okay and a second argument of two uh, that means a and b will be one array one subarray and then c and d will be uh, another um, will be another subarray. So um, yeah, with, with that in mind, I've gone ahead and I opened up my example.html file. And uh, let me go ahead and get the developer tools ready for us, the JavaScript console. Okay, and I'll clear that out. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're following along with, uh, with me, I've got my Atom editor up here. So the example.html file, and uh, I created, um, created a new JavaScript file, 10 underscore chunky underscore monkey dot JS, and uh, I already embedded that in the uh, HTML file on line 11, uh, what I normally do for, for every uh, video. So anyway, uh, let's just get started. Um, we have to iterate through an array, um, but you know normally you know we've been iterating through like each you know item, each value in an array. Uh, but because we are you know chunking you know items together, uh, there's going to be like an element of skipping. So like for the first iteration, I want to grab these two items. And then for the second iteration, I don't want to start at B because that's already been chunked. I want to go to C over here. Um, so I'm not going to use a for loop and I'm not going to use the for each or the map method. Um, I think the while loop is a good candidate for this, uh, for this challenge. So let's use a while loop um, along with their suggested um, slice. And we're also going to use push to add it to a new array. All right, so with that hint available, all right, I, I know I'm going to have a new array. So let's just make that an empty array. And um, uh, the while loop is different from a for loop. A for loop, it kind of has a counter already, you know, you, you go ahead and you write in a counter that will increment or decrement with each iteration. Uh, you have to be responsible for your own counter in a while loop. And if you don't set one up, you could be stuck in an infinite loop. And we don't want that. So let's just go ahead and create one now. And we'll just start it at zero. Okay. So here's our while loop. While counter is less than the length of our array. Okay. Uh, yep. And... Okay, let's see here. Uh, all right, so we're gonna push some things to our new array, new array push. All right, and we're gonna say array.slice. And you've seen the slice method before. It's for met, it's for strings and also array. Uh, basically, it takes two arguments. It takes one required argument, uh, and the second argument is, um, is optional. We're going to use two arguments. The first argument is the starting index. So uh, let's use the counter for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the second argument is the ending index. And it will go all the way up to the, um, the, uh, the ending index, but it won't include it. 
All right. So I'm going to do that by saying counter plus two. All right. So in the first iteration, okay, counter is less than the length of the array. So the length of the array is four and counter is zero. So that's true. That means this code is going to execute. So we are going to select the array, part of the array using the slice method. And we're going to say uh, start at zero. Okay, so counter is zero. And then go all the way up to, but don't include index two. So B is index one, C is index two. And remember, slice does not include the, um, the index for the second argument. It goes up to it, but it doesn't include it. So it's going to select zero and then one. And okay, and then that's our chunk, and it's gonna push it to the new array. Now, if I ran this code as it is, it's gonna crash my browser probably because, because look, counter for the next iteration will be zero, and it'll be zero again, zero again, and zero again. So we need to make sure that we increase our counter so, so, so that we don't get caught in an infinite loop. And this is something you have to be aware of when you're working with wild loops. With for loops, uh, that's part of the syntax uh, in creating a counter, but not with a while. So I'm just going to say counter plus equals uh, size. And so that will increase the counter to two. Uh, you're probably wondering what this funky syntax is, plus equals. Uh, this is just shorthand. This basically means counter equals counter plus size. So counter um, itself plus uh, something else. Um, this is perfectly fine, but um, you're going to see this very often. It's just a shorthand. Uh, it just means its value plus uh, plus size, which is two. So if we iterate through this again, okay, um, counter is now equal to two. It's still less than four, so it's going to start at counter, which would be C, index two, and go all the way up to, uh, but not including uh, four. So here we go, we have three. So it's gonna make that into an array, and it gets pushed to the new array, we increase her counter by two again. Okay, counter, now it's four, is no longer less than the length of the array. The length of the array is also four. So it, they're equal, but it's not less than. And then the loop terminates. All we have to do is just return the new array. Save that. I'm gonna go to the browser. And there you have it. Okay, so Chrome Tools, the JavaScript uh, console, whenever you're working with um, multi-dimensional arrays, it's not going to you know, display it like, it, like you would in, uh, in uh, the free code camp. But basically, this tells us that we've got two arrays, each with a length of two. So in the first subarray, look at that, A and B. That's exactly what we want and in the second subarray C and D. And this code, uh, this code will work um, in free code camp. We can just uh, go ahead and copy this and go to the free code camp website. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in there. Control enter. Oops, wait, something is not right. Function, oh, I always do this whenever I copy and paste code. Hmm, that is interesting. Now, what the heck is going on here? Hmm. Mm, just a moment, guys. I'm going to figure out what's going on here. It should be working, but uh, never make any assumptions. Just a moment, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, it was just a stupid mistake. All right, so I hard-coded this number two right here. You probably caught that a couple of minutes ago. So just change that two to size. And all right, there we go. That's going to be much better for us. 
and if we save it, it'll still work. All right, it'll still work for us. Okay, good. And then if we go back here to free code camp and just include size, and then we run the test, then this should work. Okay, as expected. All right, so uh, before I hard coded the number two, so it was always chunking everything uh, for two. Um, but for these other tests, the number uh, varies. So the chunk size is like three here and two here. So these two passed, uh, but here it's a groups of four, groups of three, groups of four. Anyway, just don't do what I did. Um, just pass in the, the uh, variable size and it should work. Okay, so um, going back here, um, yeah, we're using a while loop. We're selecting part of the um, of the array and pushing it to a new array and then we just increment uh, the counter variable so it starts um, at the newest numbers uh, all right that's all for for this video uh, you know you learned uh, you learned a new while loop but using array push and array slice that shouldn't be new to you and uh, as you go through these challenges you're going to find that really it's um it, it, it's a different problem, but you're going to be using kind of the same tools again and again and again. So different problem for us, but absolutely nothing out of this world. Um, and, and I believe you could do this on your own. You could probably write a better solution uh, than, than I did. So anyway, if you have written a better solution or if you want to share your solution with me, um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, go ahead and write that in the comments below and I promise that uh, that I'll respond or I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye guys. Bye.